What's up, loved ones? This is uh, this is one of the most valuable automations I've ever built in my life. I've been holding it back for like six months, but here you go. Um, this is the fully automated AI text webhook workflow. This is how we're processing. We put over 200,000 contacts to the system already. It's like tried and true. But this is how we're processing over 50 million in deal flow for business brokerages that we're sourcing deals for uh, fully with AI text messages. This is a part of our greater AI outreach system. And what you're going to get in this video is like, I'm going to show you the exact workflow. If you click the link below, I'll give you the uh, workflow ID that you can download as well as the go high level snapshot that works with this. Uh, that's where this is the CRM we use, but it's interchangeable. You can use whatever CRM you want. You can use spreadsheets if you want. But the whole goal of this is to be able to put thousands of contacts through your system, qualify those contacts, schedule appointments, update your CRM, and the whole process should be working very smoothly for you. Uh, if you want the full workflow again, just click the link below and you will get it. Uh, this is a part of uh, our deal source uh, prep where we are walking people through exactly how our business model works and you know why the, the opportunity is here, but I'll, I'll get into that later. So let's just jump into the, the systems. Again, fully AI automated texts with contextual memory of all the conversation history, as well as if you're using voice AI, this pairs right alongside of it because it remembers any of the conversations that happen from the voice AI assistant or the text AI assistant to unify one working memory. Okay, super, super baller. So I'm just gonna show you. I'll show you step by step to start. We start inside of Go High Level. Uh, we use Twilio as our VoIP provider. It's the business phone line that connects in, it integrates natively inside of Go High Level. So if somebody texts our Twilio number, it goes to Go High Level, and then it triggers our workflow here. Uh, I'm going to actually walk you through this step by step. So obviously, we could also do replies with Instagram, Facebook, or WhatsApp. But for this account specifically, we're only doing SMS. Uh, but if contact replies via SMS, we add a tag just so we can easily see that they replied. If they don't have an AI assigned phone number, we assign them a phone number. Uh, the reason we do this is because we want our AI to reply using the same number that somebody texts us in from. So if they text us at, you know, our business number, that's like 213-540-8121, uh, then we want to make sure the AI replies back using that same phone number. So if the, if the person doesn't already have an AI assigned phone number, we send them down a random path. This is a split. Contacts randomly go one out of five, 20% even, even odds. And then we have 25 phone numbers we rotate between. The reason, reason we rotate between 25 numbers is to prevent getting marked as spam and to keep our deliverability high. So uh, here's another split just to split the next batch. And then you'll notice inside of here, we have a custom value. We use custom values for everything because if we ever change a phone number, I don't wanna have to go back inside the workflow to change anything. I would rather just change a custom value. It saves us so much time and it's like, it's honestly like one of the biggest, most valuable pieces of insights I could, I could give to you right now. Um, but you'll see phone number one at Twilio. You'll see phone number two at Twilio. You'll see phone number three Twilio. And that goes on through 25 numbers. So the contacts will randomly get one of these numbers. And again, I'm going to give you this workflow. Uh, if you click the link below, you'll get the snapshot and you'll get the NADM workflows. Uh, then we just add a contact reply to SMS again, just for filtering purposes. So we can, we process hundreds of thousands of people through these systems. So we want to be able to easily filter um, and see like who, who replied, who didn't, right? Uh, and then this webhook, this webhook sends a bunch of information over to NADN, uh, like our private integration token, location ID, the message that the user said, date and time stuff, the AI reply number, uh, you'll notice that I use custom values again for everything because if any of this information ever changes, I want to easily be able to update my systems without having to go inside of the workflows. The workflows are beautiful. They're already built. They're good to go. All you have to do is update the custom values. Okay. So uh, the webhook gets sent to NADN. Uh, if the contact, again, if the contact already has an AI phone number, then it's it, the same thing is happening. Um, we're gonna, we're gonna just check to make sure that uh, the AI text assistant isn't set off. So by default, our AI text system is all, always on, but if you wanna turn it off, you just change a, con a custom contact field. It's called AI text status. Turn it off, the AI will turn off. Super easy. Um, and then you'll get notifications anytime somebody texts you instead of your AI replying. 
right? Uh, again, we could do this with multiple channels, but we're just doing SMS for this account. So I'll just show you SMS. Same webhook, same that you saw on the other one. Both of the workflows are the same thing. It's just if they don't have a phone number assigned already, we send them to the other workflow, just to assign the phone number real quick and keep it running. If they do have a, a phone number already assigned, they can stay here. It's the same exact webhook that we're sending to NADIN now. Over here in NADIN, you'll notice that we catch that information with the webhook. We set all of that information in a placeholder. It's just for easy, just for easy or organization. Um, there, this doesn't necessarily do anything other than now we're gonna, going to map the rest of the automation using the things from this placeholder. It just keeps it better organized for us. So we start to go high level for a conversation ID so that when we use the get messages ID, we actually uh, get all of the conversation history uh, between that contact from inside of go high level. So this is how we can see every conversation that a user has had um, via text. Get notes. When we're using the voice AI assistant, we actually store any of the conversations that somebody has with our voice AI. We store that in the notes, transcript, summary, appointment schedule, date and time, all of that kind of information gets stored in the notes. We then use this code step. And again, you guys are gonna get the snapshot. If you click the link, you'll get it. Uh, but this code, all it does is make the, the notes readable for our AI. We get calendar IDs because we're gonna be booking uh, we're going to be booking appointments and it's so much again it's easy if I already have my calendars all of the calendars that I could possibly use uh, if I give that context to the AI and I tell the AI hey this is the calendar we want to use find the ID it just makes it easier we don't have to go like update the prompt we can just tell the the, the AI use use the calendar ID attached to the sales calendar for this because it's going to have all of our calendar IDs get custom fields if we have additional information attached to the contact, like their business name, their address, their NAICS code, the offer that they showed interest in, anything like that, we can pull dynamically using this API. Uh, get custom values. Um, again, if we have like other API keys or, or other information we want to pull from Go High Level from our Go High Level account, we'll just grab that real quick here. Get contact is just getting the contact information itself, first name, last name, ID, etc. We obviously are also passing that through in the webhook. But this is just a catch-all extra bit. If, if there's anything else that we want to be pulling, um, we just we get all the information we can pretty much. Now, this code step is like the like one of the most valuable individual pieces of anything I've ever I've ever written. Um, uh, there's red squiggly lines just because we didn't like some of this stuff just isn't uh, like it's not implicitly stated correctly, but it it doesn't matter. It works. The point is it it all works. So that's all I care about. Um, but this, this, this consolidates all the information from any voice AI conversations, any text AI conversations, and it puts it all into one readable format that our AI can actually understand and use uh, for the actual uh, conversation itself. So this is the AI agent that's actually processing the information. So we collect all the information, we put it in a good format, we drop it in our prompt, and now the AI has unified memory between both the voice conversations and the text conversations and any other notes I've ever left for that contact or anything that's going on inside of the custom fields. Like literally, if, if it's in your Go High Level CRM, the AI agent knows it. Now, the AI agent has a few tools attached. We can update contact information. So if we need to update a first name, last name, whatever, uh, that can be done. We can add leads. We like to segment our leads from warm lead, hot lead to scheduled appointment. If we're processing hundreds of thousands of people, you don't want to have to manually go through and filter and, and try to figure out like what happened on the conversations. This saves so much time. Uh, it just allows you to get straight to the point. Now there are, there is room for improvement on the system. Again, I've, I've been, we've been using this for six months. Uh, it took me a really long time to convince myself to just give it to you guys because uh, honestly it is so valuable but uh, I, I just want to build cool stuff with cool people and travel the world and enjoy my life and make a bunch of money with the people that I want to make money with so hopefully you're somebody who can leverage this and make a bunch of money and I would be happy that that happens just let me know just say hey I did it and I'll be like cool um, if you want to join our community where we're all doing it together you know find the link below um, check out the deal source uh, prep anyways Open AI model, use whatever model you want. This MPC tool, uh, we actually have a server that's handling the get free slots and the create appointments. Um, it's, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, let me see if I can actually give that, show you guys that real quick too. MCP tools. Hi, here we go. Um, so uh, 
we have some tools uh, attached here just for getting free slots, uh, setting the appointments, uh, and, and that's really all that's going here. If you've seen any of my voice AI uh, builds where I'm getting getting calendar availability and scheduling calendars, again, it's just Go High Level API, pretty straightforward. Um, but yeah, that's our, well, we actually have the MCP server that gets hit first. So this is the server attached to the agent. It will trigger those other workflows that you saw. Um, it'll trigger the tools workflow that I just showed you. Um, so you're gonna get, these these work, and this is still gonna work even without you having it. Um, if you wanna learn how to build it and, and, and what you, if you just want one of your own, again, I gave all this away in the program. Uh, but even if you don't have access to the MCP server, I'll still have it running, so it'll still work for you, no worries. Um, so uh, we put all that context here inside the prompt. Now, we have an automation that allows us to automatically write all of the prompts for each of our use cases. Like it gets 80% of your prompts done. It gets your entire system set up. It, it updates all of the custom values for you. So it removes this from being like a, you know, like six, seven hour process all the way down to literally you can have your system up and running fully in 30 minutes. Um, it's, it's freaking baller. It's so, it's so cool. And we've gamified the whole thing. So it's actually fun to learn with us, uh, which is cool. So, um, that's all inside of our uh, AI acquisition accelerator for people who want to deal source with us. Uh, deal sourcing, I guess, for some context real quick, is there's 17 million baby boomers that are over the age of 65 that have $84 trillion of wealth that they need to transfer. And only 54% of them have enough or 54% of them don't have enough money to retire on. So a bunch of business owners over the age of 65 who can't retire they need to be able to get a check for the businesses that they've spent their lives building, right? So what we do is we find business owners that are looking like they're ready to retire. We qualify them to see if they're ready to sell their business. If they're not, we can provide services to help them prepare to sell their business. Uh, and then we refer them to a broker who pays us for finding that deal for them. And that's how we end up making uh, anywhere from 19000 up um, well, on average, it's going to be 15,000 to 50 K and, and fees for that business being sold successfully. And all we did was run all of these contacts through these systems that qualifies and books automatically. Um, yeah, so that's like, that's what we're working on, but that it's the same system for any client acquisition you want to do. Here it is $84 trillion of wealth needs to be exchanged 2.6 trillion in dry powder. That's in like cash ready to invest in these businesses from private equity. Uh, buyers, th there's a huge market opportunity right now, and there's not enough of us who, who know how to do it. So that's why I'm giving you guys the system, because I want as many people as possible to be able to leverage these systems, to be able to serve. There's millions of people who need to sell their business. There's millions of people who like need to retire in the next like five years. Like, I don't want to see, I don't want to see people having to work until they're 70, 75. When we have systems today that can immediately help empower them to be able to get that check. So I'm here to help you get that check. <laughs> okay. Anyways. So we send the message with Go High Level. Uh, again, it's an API. So we use Go High Level as our CRM, but you could be using, for example, if you use Telnix as your VoIP provider, that doesn't natively integrate with Go High Level, but you can just use a webhook from Telnix. So somebody texts your Telnix number, you can use, send the text straight to NADN, skip Go High Level, send it straight to NADN. Your AI still is gonna process that information. Um, if you're, say you're saving all of your contact information in like a Google spreadsheet, all of these steps can be changed with like a, hey, search my Google Sheets for all of the information about this contact. And then you can use uh, Telnix API to send that message back and you can store the conversation um, back inside of your Google Sheets, right? So that's what we're doing back here is we're tracking data and storing it all. This is just, um, this is just a loop to make sure that we're not hitting the uh, rate limits on Google Sheets because you can only send a certain amount of records into Google Sheets at a time. So if we hit the rate limit, we just wait and then we, we send it again. And, and that's all that's happening back there, data tracking. Um, and this is, this is just getting some more information to be able to properly track the data. Uh, but here's where we're actually sending the message back to the user. And that's it. That's the whole workflow. This is a part of our, our greater AI outreach system where we send automated messages out via text, via ringless voicemail. We have an AI caller set up. All of that is uh, just a part of this one unified system. But this AI text automation itself, this, this saves you from having to pay hundreds of dollars in software costs to 
to Zappy Chat or to Closebot. Uh, literally this system to run a thousand contacts, it costs like a dollar or two dollars. Like it is so freaking like minimal because you're just paying for API costs now. Uh, all of the Go high level API is free. We're just paying literally the only thing that costs us money in this whole system is we're paying for the OpenAI API. And I have my innate in server self-hosted. Uh, I think I paid $26 a month for the server because I run a lot of contacts through here, so I just needed some more compute. But that's the, that's the whole system. Um, I'm going to also go ahead and give you this prompt. I'll give you a prompt example so you can see how we're actually calling the tools and the structure we use. As you guys know, I mean, I spent, I've been doing this for two years now, and I spent the first three to six months literally only working on voice AI to the point where I got the prompts so dialed in that I can make any AI have a conversation about anything in a natural manner with people. And it really comes down to the prompts. So I'm gonna give you an example of how we get text AI assistance to have a natural conversation. Um, you just have to edit it a little bit, use Claude to edit it. Uh, but again, in the program, like our automation writes the prompts for us because it's that dialed in. Uh, this is all a part of our AI deal source prep. Again, if you have the system, you'll be able to do client acquisition, send thousands of messages outbound, when they reply back to you, your AI will be able to handle them all, tag them all, uh, and qualify them, check availability for the appointment, schedule the appointment, send a message back to the user. Very easy, very straightforward to use. I'll give you the Go High Level Snapshot, as well as I'll give you uh, this workflow here. And in the deal source prep on day one, we're gonna cover that market opportunity I was telling you about, the deal source like, oh my God, it's at, it's ridiculous. $84 trillion. There's $47 billion made by intermediaries every year. Intermediaries are just the people who like introduce business owners that want to sell to business buyers. So there's $47 billion market that does not have nearly enough people to be able to transition these owners. There's, there's so much money being left on the table and nobody has a systematic approach for actually being able to do this. Like right now is the opportunity because by 2027, 2028, like there's at that point, there's going to be so many people who have jumped in and you're going to be competing with the people who started today. So if you want to create your wealth today, this is this is how it's happening. Right. We are doing a three day intensive where I'm going to show you on day one exactly why the market is ready today and what skills you need to have to, to do it. And again, if you're here, you, you probably have the skills. If you're watching this, you have the skills. Uh, on day two, we're going to show you the full AI outreach system, every automation, every prompt, every template message. I'm going to show you exactly how I made the relationships with the private equity brokers, uh, the M&A brokers, the, the business brokers. I'm going to show you how I met all the strategic buyers to be able to suss out exactly what kind of fee structures everybody can make and what's a fair process so that you can now refer businesses straight to the broker. On day three, I'm going to show you again exactly how big does this scale? How can you get equity in these businesses uh, before they sell? How can you work with us to be able to buy, scale, and sell 100 biz businesses over the next five to 10 years? So I'm going to literally walk you through step-by-step -step everything during that uh, deal source prep. If you want this system, great. Click the link below and you will have it. If you want all of our systems, uh, go to the boot camp and I'm going to walk you through everything. And if you love it, I hope you do. Just let me know. And it's, it's again, it's yours. So here you go. I love you. If you have a comment, leave it down below. If you think this is awesome, leave it down below. If you know anybody else who loves AI, send this to them because they're going to love this. And in return, they're going to love you. So give this gift away. Okay. Much love to you. Thank you for being here. I will see you when I see you. I am in Hakone, Japan right now, and I'm going to go enjoy a festival and some fireworks with my loved ones. We are traveling, having a good time, and I would love to see you wherever you're at in the world. Peace.